Okay, I think it's recording now. Yep, okay. Freaking phone. Smash the screen on it. Every phone I get. Well, I have a really big hiccup here. I have no idea how this happened. It has something to do with the welding we did. Straightening everything out. That is a big problem right there. Everybody see that? See how the no top nose is so far away? And this part was actually brought closer in, so you'd think the nose would be brought closer in. And, you know, I mean, everything was actually brought closer in, so you'd think it would all be closer in, but it's not. And the bottom part is weird because this is actually where it's supposed to be because I had those two wood blocks right here and this was attached to those wood blocks right here so this bottom part is exactly where it's supposed to be you know um, the only difference is I can see it being lower to the ground because the this part right here the whole frame piece is actually attached down here if you can see my fingers it's attached under here okay which before it was sitting on top but if anything that would have you know that would have raised everything up this is like not really dropped anything down I can actually even redo the straps again and lift this up some but I just I don't get that so something tells me I am going to have to rebuild the entire nose well not the bottom I'm not redoing the bottom the bottom's gonna stay as it is I'll have to redo the top which means I'm gonna have to bring it all this way which means what I'm probably gonna end up doing is taking all of those off and cutting them down shorter probably about this much shorter and those are such a pain to get a friggin screw to go into come on yeah, I'll probably have to take off about that much. So what's that, about six inches? No, three inches. One, two, three. My fingers are usually close to three inches. So I have to take off about three inches. Because this part needs to be up here because this one, well, this is the opposite one. But it sits like this. So this part here has to be close to this and this part up here is supposed to sit right there so this is just freaky on I mean all we did was straighten a piece up you know which was this piece right here it was hanging out we straightened that up welded the brackets and welded it to this piece it's really not sitting much different than it did before maybe a inch or two back and that's about it but this is like six inches off now <laughs> I mean how in the hell did that happen that's like six inches off you know that means I gotta rebuild the entire nose grrr so since we did all the welding on here we got the headlights that don't fit in right now um, the fin front fenders technically aren't fitting right now um, and now the nose won't fit right Okie dokie smokey back to the drawing board halfway Yeah, I'm gonna leave the bottom and I'll just work from the bottom what I'll end up having to do is shorten this down So all right, so that means just these hinges are gonna be back inside here They're gonna be back further which that might help some because it might be able to get me to lift this up So it doesn't look so slanted down like an alligator nose I know it's got to be all straightened out because it was laying upside down as I showed in the other video got a little moisture i'm thinking on building some inserts to put inside here you know a lot of this i could move these frame pieces too don't give me a chance to move these frame because these are frame pieces right here so you can give me a chance to redo some of this but that's my hiccup for today that is a big hiccup <laughs> that is a that is a big hiccup you know, but it's, it's par for the course. Like I said, this truck is like a Christine without the murderous attitude. Um, 
All right, so that's where I'm at because that's going to take me a long time to do, and I don't know if I'll get anything on it tonight or not, so I figured I'd go ahead and throw a heads up now for anybody that watches. If you like the videos and you think they're cool, fine. I appreciate you watching them. I'm not one of these YouTubers that are, you know, trying to get clicks and get money. I mean, it's not why I do this. I do this because I think it's fun, you know. Um, so anyway, that's that. Um, when I get it all redone, I guess I'll uh, I'll shoot a video out. Let's see what it's like when I get it put back on. And then maybe I'll let out a few secrets of what I'm going to do, but I don't want to say too much because it's so easy for people out there with better resources than I have to just like slam out something that's like what I have and I'm trying to avoid that. And yes, I meant my other video where people have stolen stuff from me. I had the oxygen um, canister that you carry over your shoulders. That idea was stolen from me. The metal wire Christmas reindeer was stolen from me. Um, I've had a book that was stolen and turned into a movie. And somebody stole, in 2015, somebody stole this whole bunch of paperwork and stuff concerning the Pixel Life Foundation. And now there's an organization out there who's trying to do things like I was going to do them. And I could tell by the way they got it going so fast and everything that they're just in it for the money. So, anyway, um, that's that. Bit of info news, I guess. I don't know. I ramble sometimes. Anyway, hope y'all having a good day. Um, Till next time. Peace.